How do you check upon your mangoes to check if there is any damage that has happened from external bugs? See, as of now, I can see one damaged point here. It could have happened by the worm or by the acidic solution that gets released from here. It could have happened. So I need to check this fruit without cutting. Without cutting. How do you check if so many worm is there inside or not? See, I start pressing it from all the sides. Especially from this side where, where the green is to check if it is the if it, the fruit is ripened or not A little bit of hardness is still here at this side. So that will not be mm, Sweet it will be sore Until here it is looking good If at all any damage is there and the pulp is purposely pressing around this particular place, when the pulp gets loosened up like thick juice, if at all any piercing has happened from an external bug, it will open up. Open up even if a millimeters mm, this thing piercing that that damaging bug has pierced it, pierced a hole that of a millimeter size. That particular point or at that particular point, the fruit will open up and the juice will start getting out as of now I don't see anything of that sort only it is get sir. this particular drop can be tasted by you to check the how exactly it has been to what ex extent the fruit has ripened let me do that now it seemed okay this fruit is ready to eat and we know I don't need to chew it I will only take the like the way you sip your mm, sip your what is that any fruit drink like your fresh fruit drink that's how I'm going to ha have them stored in my refrigerator because I, mean, I am having many, many such fruits harvested from my trees. This is it. If I keep on pressing, one more drop will come out from here. That can be discarded. Why? Because it will be having that mm, bloody acid that is dangerous. Dangerous in the sense it, it will certainly uh, give you a sore taste acidic taste so 99% 90% say of the fruit is ready to eat and it is having a very good very very good sweet sweetness taste of sweetness at this point it is not as soft as rest of the fruit so I can keep it for one more day I can I should be I should make sure that no fruit flies will sit here cover it with in a plastic cover and by today night this will get ripened or by maximum tomorrow morning it will be ready to be eaten or stored into a bottle. 
in a refrigerator for future use. That's how I do harvest my fruits and save them for my self use because I don't use any pesticides or anything like that. It's all grown naturally, organically. So I don't have to sell them to anybody because people doesn't know the value of this. The value of any output, farming output that I produce in my farm. So I want to keep it to myself. If anybody is there who does know the value of the same, right? because there are so many uh, cheating shops in your cities and towns who say our product is organic and you trust them without getting checked, you know, checked the same with the right authority and you use it and they will make good money, money out of your dumbness that's what I say that's it it's all about mangoes today and I'm going to have, uh, show you one or two videos in case I get them obviously I'm having so many of them many more are stored inside obviously a few of them will be in, in, infected by the that particular insect that mm, pierces into the fruit even when the fruit is young and drops its eggs into the mango and and what will happen next is even before you eat your fruit your fruit will get eaten up by the worms of that particular insect see if I take this I can see a lot of disturbance over here piercing it could be it it could have happened by the bug or made by the bug or here is one highly suspected point or it could have happened by the worm I'm sorry yeah, that particular insect could have done it not sure so I am keeping it at the top to keep observing it once I get any such uh, symptom I will either eat the eat the uh, part of the fruit that is that is good and discard the part that is infected and eaten up by the bug and I will save the seed to get sowed into my field so nothing is wasted nothing nothing goes wasted even the, the peel of the fruit I am going to feed it to my cattle so this is it about my mangoes.